In internal combustion engines, several factors contribute to energy waste, reducing overall efficiency. Here's a breakdown of the main causes of energy waste in these engines, including components like the exhaust stroke, valves, camshaft, gears, and piston rod tilt. 1. Exhaust stroke, pumping losses. During the exhaust stroke, the engine expels burnt gases from the combustion chamber through the exhaust valve. This process consumes energy because the piston must push out the exhaust gases against the back pressure in the exhaust system. Any restrictions in the exhaust system, such as narrow exhaust valves, pipes, or catalytic converters, increase this back pressure, causing pumping losses. These losses can account for a significant portion of the energy waste, especially at lower speeds or loads, reducing fuel efficiency. Two. Valves and valve accessories, frictional and inertial losses. The intake and exhaust valves, along with their associated components like the camshaft, valve springs, rocker arms, and gears, also waste energy due to friction and the inertia of moving parts. Friction. The camshaft, which drives the opening and closing of the valves, is connected to the crankshaft via gears or a chain, and friction occurs at every point where there is movement, such as in the camshaft bearings, rocker arms, and valve stems. This friction results in energy losses. Inertia of valve springs. The energy required to compress valve springs as the camshaft pushes the valves open is not fully recovered when the springs expand to close the valves. This loss becomes more significant at high engine speeds when the valves open and close rapidly, increasing the energy demand. 3. Camshaft and timing mechanism mechanical losses. The camshaft is driven by the engine's crankshaft using gears, chains, or belts. These mechanisms require energy to operate and energy is lost through. Friction in gears or chains. The movement of the gears or chain creates resistance, leading to power loss. Mass of the camshaft. The rotational inertia of the camshaft itself requires energy to maintain its motion, particularly at higher engine speeds. Four, air intake system, flow resistance, and pumping losses. The engine's air intake system, including the intake valves and intake manifold, can also lead to energy waste. Flow resistance. As air enters the combustion chamber through the intake valve, any restriction in the intake manifold, air filter, or valve port creates resistance, which the engine must overcome. This resistance results in pumping losses, where energy is wasted in drawing air into the combustion chamber, especially at part load conditions. Throttle losses. In spark ignition engines, the throttle plate controls airflow into the engine. When partially closed, it creates a vacuum requiring more energy to draw air into the cylinders, contributing to additional energy waste. 5. Piston Rod Tilt, Side Forces and Friction In traditional internal combustion engines, the piston rod connects the piston to the crankshaft. As the piston moves up and down, the piston rod doesn't move perfectly straight but at an angle due to the offset between the crankshaft and the cylinder axis. This tilting of the piston rod causes side forces, which press the piston against the cylinder walls. These side forces increase friction between the piston and the cylinder walls, leading to more energy loss. Over time, this can also cause wear on the cylinder walls and piston rings, further reducing engine efficiency. 6. Friction from bearings and moving parts Throughout the engine, there are various moving parts, such as the crankshaft, camshaft, and pistons, which are supported by bearings. The friction in these bearings contributes to mechanical friction losses, which can waste a significant portion of the engine's energy. Reducing friction in these components is key to improving efficiency, which is why manufacturers use low-friction coatings and advanced lubricants to minimize this type of loss. Summary of energy waste in internal combustion engines. Exhaust stroke. Pumping losses due to pushing exhaust gases out against back pressure. Valves and accessories. Friction and inertia in the valve train, camshaft, and springs waste energy. Camshaft and gears. Mechanical losses from friction in timing mechanisms. Air intake system, flow resistance, and throttle losses cause pumping losses. Piston rod tilt, side forces create friction between the piston and cylinder walls. Friction in bearings, mechanical losses from moving parts and their bearings. Addressing these losses, engine designers often try to minimize these losses using advanced technologies like variable valve timing, VVT, camless engines, turbocharging, and friction reducing coatings. In newer engines, direct injection and improved combustion chamber designs can also help reduce energy waste by ensuring more efficient combustion and better airflow. All this has been removed in the Asander engine.